Hey guys, welcome to another segment of why is self-love so damn important. And my name is Quinn. If you're here for the first time, hi, I go by Quinn for the win. I am a self-love coach. I help individuals become ultimately their own best friend because at the end of the day, it is us and us and us with the pains, right? And as a recovering codependent, I definitely know what it means to be so terrified of being alone with your pains. In fact, I avoided being alone at all costs. And until, you know, I knew that that wasn't the answer anymore. And after my second long-term relationship breakup, I stepped into self-love. So on this self-love journey, it is so damn important because you will become the light in the dark. And I'm gonna give some real life examples here of how I was able to show up because I have done the daily work of working on my inner pains. I have a lot of shame, I have a lot of guilt, I have a lot of pain experience from my past relationships and particularly men from my dad and my past partners. So a lot of inner work there and the thing is you start to open up space to be there for other people. You are able to show up as this person who's able to listen, understand situations and have compassion so that there's no room for, I mean, how would I say it? I was gonna say there's no room for being triggered, but what I really mean is that when we're triggered or when there's some sort of emotion, we've already have dealt with that. So in a certain situation, you're reacting to it way more differently. So one example was when a family member um, in the household overdosed. And that was really scary. And there were some other family members that had high anxiety. There was anger, um, actually a lot of anger. And I saw myself as the calm person able to hold space for the other family members trying to process what was going on got on a call and just held space and was allowing everybody to process their pains and I was able to just be there. And um, so that's one example. And I know that a lot of us put on a tough, tough face. You know, we gather all the strength that we have to be strong. And I will say to be strong is to actually let yourself feel process and come to a place of understanding. So once you've done that with yourself so many times, you're able to see what people need as they're processing through their own pains. Another example was another family member in the household um, was uh, committing, committing, ending, um, committing to ending their life. And that was another hard thing. And as I saw that, there was like these, these other signs that I was seeing. I stepped up in providing a safe space for them to practice their self-love. And I saw myself eventually being able to come home every single night to have this session with this person. So, and, and there was another family member who reached out to me to make sure that I wasn't, you know, doing too much where you feel like you're drained and exhausted. And I just, I felt so good and like, I looked forward to doing this. So this all comes with a self-love journey. You will be able to see how much space you're actually able to have with people to really hear their pains, be there with them, have compassion, have understanding, and really truly listen. Um, another example is, you know, uh, there were there was a, also in that same time period, I was coming home and doing stretching sessions with my mom. <laughs> Back then, I did not have the space for this. I was worried about my own issues. And the thing is back then, I wasn't practicing healthy outlets. So it was a lot of grabbing attention, you know, saying yes to the next party, saying yes to the next party, and just finding any kind of way to be around somebody. It was either at a party with my friends or with my past partners. Oh yes, yeah, so let me know what thoughts have been coming up for you guys as far as like being actual light in darkness, what it actually looks like to have space for others. It all starts with ourselves, you guys, and that's what the self-love journey is all about. And it's so important to have that safe space for us as well. I mean, that is how you know that, wow, 
there needs to be a lot more safe people. So a lot of place, safe places out there because it's helped me heal a tremendous amount. When we're in a, a space where there's constant, constant judgment and criticism, people telling you what to do, that's, that's like um, someone just poking at you all the time. And that doesn't really a provide a safe space, a safe environment for a person to heal. So this is why I stepped into the coaching, self, self-love coaching, because this is what I do. This is what I started doing naturally as, as I saw that I was starting to have space for other people. So why not really step into it and let it be known and offer that out to the community for anyone who is uh, perhaps in the dark just right now and there's a lot of pain that's showing up for you and it's way too overwhelming. So if you click the link in my bio, you will see what it is I'm offering. And once again, that's my that's my video. So once again, um, it is Quinn for the win, your self-love coach, offering a safe space for you to be you so that you can express yourself, process your pains, and ultimately become your own inner best friend. All right, guys, I will see you guys on the next video.